One of the highlights of DSCI was your Bronco 3 all-terrain vehicle. Would you like to say a few words about why you developed Bronco 3, which is a follow-on to the earlier vehicles? The Bronco family has been 17 years in the making, and the Bronco 3 is the latest in the series. And uh, uh, through the experience that we have gained from deploying Bronco 2 or the war song in Af Afghanistan, we thought uh, we are able to de uh, develop a vehicle that is able to protect the troops very well, uh, with good protection as well as have got the very good mobility that can allow uh, troops to basically be deployed anywhere and whether be it in the reconnaissance uh, phase or whether be in the combat phase as a troop carrier or combat support phase uh, providing artillery support, combat support or even in the combat service support phase the recovery, the logistics, the ambulance uh, and the supplies. So this vehicle becomes very versatile with the 45 different uh, back compartments that we have developed so far. We are able to reconfigure it for any missions that you would need. When you compare it with the early one, it's got more payload <coughs> and it's also got much better protection to a V-shaped V bottom hole. And of course it is fully amphibious. Yes. And uh, you know previously in Warthog, Part of it. We actually, this vehicle with the volume is able to swim at about 16.5 tons. Uh, too much of it, then you will not uh, be able to swim. So during the war talk phase, actually what they have done is that they added in so much of things that it's unable to swim. But what we have done is that through all the lessons that's being learned, uh, we have uh, bring, with the same level of protection, we have bring it down to about 16 tons. So that with uh, protection and yet able to swim, it provides the commanders with a lot of operational flexibility. When we saw it last week, the, the rear module had the 120 meter mortar system, which yes. is rapidly changed to the troop carrier role. So the vehicle is very flexible. It's a plug yes. and play for different mission modules at the back. Yes, this plug and play module uh, uh, part of it is actually something that's very, very. Uh, we we develop it to be able to support missions. So, like for example, you can see that we, we change the module pretty fast. Actually, in half an hour, we are able to change the module. So that provides commander with flexibility uh, of changing the mission on the move. And you can have it almost like a prime mover. And uh, when the mission change and requires certain other configuration, we can just flexibly change the real module and it's being configured for another mission. I mean, today's vehicles want more power. You've got perhaps a remote weapon station, cameras, radios, air conditioning, counter ID, they all suck up power. What sort of add-on power have you got for the vehicle? Well, we have got sufficient power to power, you know, the system. We have got the vehicle, we have got the vehicle power system that is able to facilitate all the current uh, vehicle electronic system, uh, the vehicle uh, VIC system that allows up to two gigabyte uh, of uh, 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 data uh, along it and uh, any additional uh, for especially command and control vehicle you may require additional power but we can configure that inside the vehicle not an issue at all so a lot of vehicles they do have an yeah. APU if you're a command yes right and also right. you've got a generic vehicle architecture Let's yes it, yes which I think is essential for many users yes yes so that becomes something that's very essential because many people have their own system and with the open architecture the generic uh, vehicle architecture we are able to basically allow people to plug and play with their equipment now if you've got an order you could produce vehicles in 12 to 18 months yes we can produce in 12 to 18 months we have we our design is ready we have the production facilities in Singapore and uh, in fact we are more than prepared to produce it in the country where the customer or the any partner would like to produce there we are able to transfer the manufacturing uh, data package to them for the production as well well thank you very much Vincent thank you so much